Okay, this is just an introduction video to your online working pages ledger. Very similar to the one we went through for your journal, but there are a few things I just want to point out um, because the ledger is slightly different than your journal in your online working pages. So as we come down here, you're going to see an example of a posting procedure that's taken from your book. Um, please note how this looks um, like a typical journal and this looks like a typical ledger. Now these are what your workbook and also what your test will look like um, with the separate uh, squares for your date and then also the separate amounts for um, your numbers in your debits and credits and in your balance. Um, as it says down here, this is just going to briefly introdu introduce you um, to the way you post transactions to your online working pages and how it'll be graded. Um, so we want to just point out a couple of things. As you scroll down, this is what that exact same problem up here will look like in your journal um, as well as then in your general ledger. So a couple of things I just want to point out, just like in our journal, the date is entered in a single cell. So you don't actually need to have a January and then you'll have a separate one for the second. You also do not need to include the year in um, mind tap here. However, make sure that you do include the year um, on the first line of your general ledger, just like you would with your journal if you were doing your workbook or a test. And then notice again that the debits and credits are entered in a single cell instead of separate cells for each digit. Um, as we begin, there's a few things to keep in mind. Um, obviously, some items may vary slightly from what is in your text, so you need to make sure that you read your instructions carefully. Um, the online working pager, pages ledger is actually collapsed and expanded by clicking on the little black triangle. So you see up here, oops, this little black triangle is what collapses and opens um, your cash as well as uh, the capital account. Now you can't do it here because this is just a picture, um, but that's where you would click to open up each account. You can also navigate through your ledger using your tab key just like you can for your journal. Um, only the post reference post-reference cells are enterable in your journal. When you move to your general ledger, um, now we have the option to click on the post-reference in our journal and put a check mark where we didn't have that in chapter three. So that's all this is saying for numbers four and five is that now because we've learned about posting, um, MindTab now allows you to put that check mark in there and you'll need to do that. Um, because that'll be part of the grading procedure. Um, we'll also learn later in this chapter how to post our column totals. Um, when we do that, your text shows the column totals posting references in parentheses. Your online working pages will actually do that for you. So again, there's some handy dandy little features in here. However, you have to remember to put parentheses when you do it in your workbook and on your test. So it's kind of a double-edged sword because yes, it's helpful when you're doing it online, but if you don't remember those things, you're going to lose points when you're on the test. Um, the text fields in the ledger are smart entries. So just like your journal, they will turn red um, if you have something spelled wrong um, or if you don't get it exactly the way it says in your chart of accounts. Um, just like before, we use the three-letter abbreviation for your month. Um, and you only need to enter the month on the first entry of that page. Um, and then we have um, a period with the DD or the two um, digits for your date. Um, just like in the journal, the online working pages will insert commas in debit and credit cells for you, so you don't need to do that. Um, for even dollar amounts, it'll also put the cents in for you, so you don't have to do that either. If an account balance gets reduced to zero, um, exhibits in your text show that there is a horizontal line. Now that's typically what we do, um, again, in our workbook and in our test. However, um, we would have to enter zero when we're in Applia. Um, so make sure that you do that. Um, you don't have the option to draw a single line. Instead, it would be zero. Um, posting column totals isn't any different than posting individual lines. Um, 
So we'll talk about that when we get into this in 4.2 and 4.3. And then, like I said, each of the ledger accounts can be collapsed and expanded using the black triangle to the left of your name. Um, I don't believe that there is ever a time where you need to do a beginning balance, but I could be wrong. So just in case, um, if you do have to do a beginning balance, you would put a post reference um, in the post reference column. You put a check mark because that's not actually coming from a journal page. Um, and then they do have a specialized grading procedure for you. So we're going to skip over answering these questions. If you want to look through them, you can um, about the stuff we just talked about. Um, but here we can, um, it just shows you what your journal looks like. You can see now that in the post reference, you could put a check mark if you needed to. Um, I'm not saying that you do here in this journal. And then you can see where the little black triangle will open up each of your different um, accounts in your general ledger. So technically what they want us to do is practice this, but we're going to do the exact same thing um, when we do our work together. So I'm going to just skip over that and click the next step, which will bring you to talking about your grades. Um, I, again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this um, because it gets kind of technical. But what I do want to show you, just like in your journal, if you scroll down, um, it will show you that when you have an error, just like in your journal, it will turn red. So that's your indicator that something is wrong. Um, also, just like in your journal, if you hover over it, it will tell you um, what happened. So here, this person just put um, the balance in the credit column, and it should be in the debit column. So you can hover over the little number here um, on the right-hand side of your ledger, and it will tell you um, where you made the error. So um, that's just a brief intro into your online working pages ledger. Um, so don't worry, it says that this is worth points, but it's actually not. So don't stress about that. Um, I just wanted you to get familiar with it. So let's head over and do our 4-2 work together video um, and we'll get to posting.